Okay, guys. Uh, let's understand few new formulas uh, in text formatting or text cleaning. Today, we'll try to understand uh, trim, right, left, and mid. This formulas are very important when you are trying to clean data specifically, or if you want to uh, get some data or you want to uh, have something out of a set of data and you want to want, want to specifically remove certain text or if you want to have something from that entire content to be moved into separately so that you can analyze it. So today's formula would help you to not only clean data, but help you to have a specific data for your analysis separated out from the content, yeah? So the four formulas that we are going to look out today is uh, trim, right, left, mid. Let's start with the trim function. Now what trim does is it helps you to clean the data. It removes the leading, trailing, and repeated spaces in the string. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let me give you an example. Yeah. Uh, suppose I have the sentence I love Google Sheet. Yeah. So I have the sentence. I'll add some spaces. See? And I'll say, I love Google Sheets. And I'll add a few more spaces at the end. Yes. Now, in this particular text, I have few spaces at the end, few spaces at the start. Yeah. And there is there are some unnecessary spaces between the word as well. Now, if I want to clean all the spaces from the text or the content that you want to clean, I use the trim formula. Yeah. So what Google Sheet does, it trims the text input into the cells by default. Yeah, so by when you input something, it automatically trims it. But if you have mistakenly or uh, mistakenly imported data, uh, which has all this leading and trailing spaces or in between spaces, unnecessary spaces, which you want to remove, I'll use the trim formula. So you, how do I do that? It's equal to trim, open brackets, and I'll select the text, which I want to clean. And I'll close the brackets and I'll say enter. Now, if I try to, how do I know whether the data has been removed of uh, the unnecessary spaces? Now, if you look at the previous text, you'll find a lot of space between Google and Sheets. Now, in over here, where the data is cleaned, there is only one space between Google Sheets. Also, you can use the len formula to understand what was the len previously. It was 30 characters. And over here, if I try to find the len, it is 20 characters. So it has removed 10 unnecessary spaces from the initial box. Yes. Now, it is again important to note uh, that trim when uh, used trend when text is used in formulas or data validation because spaces in front of or after the text are significant. Yeah, so you always trim when you are using the data to clean the data. Yeah, 
trim removes all spaces in text and leaving just a single space between the words which you have seen right now between the Google and Sheets, there were multiple spaces, but now it is only one space. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, what trim does is it is remove the white spaces and non-breaking spaces uh, from a particular content. Yeah. So this would be helpful to remove unnecessary content or unnecessary spaces and uh, make the data a bit cleaner. Yeah. Now let's move on to the next uh, formula for today. Now write. Write what it does is, is uh, it returns a substring from the end of a specified string. So what it does, suppose I have uh, Google as my string. Yeah. Now, if I want to get only the two characters, that is L and E from the right which are two characters. So what I will do is, is equal to right. Yeah. I'll select the string from where I want to remove or get the two or two or three characters. I'll say comma and I'll say two number of characters that I want and I'll click on enter. So you'll find here it has given me two characters from the right. So it, it is from the right of the Google word, it has given me two characters. Now in practical scenario, it is mostly used in terms of uh, when you are cleaning a date. Suppose your date is like 10, 0, 2, 2, Yeah. And I need the last for only the year. So what I'll do is I'll say write. I'll select the date, yeah. I'll say comma and I'll say four, yeah. Four characters on the right, yes. Yeah, two zero two four, yes. Because two zero two four is the four characters on the right, yeah. So this is one of the practical scenario that we use. Other practical scenario is uh, we use it for separating. Uh, a character, suppose you have IDs in uh, in organization. So you put it like employee ID 201. Yes. And I want all the three, uh, only the number from the ID. So I use write and three characters. So the this is how you use write. Yeah. Then Google Sheet. Now you can put zero as well. It will be an invalid number and it will not return anything. So suppose over here, if I try to put zero here, it will not show me anything because I'm not telling the formula how many characters I want from the right of the string. Yeah. So if I specify three characters from the right of the string, it will give me GLE from Google. Yes. So the three characters from right was G, L, E. Yes. So this is how you use uh, right. Now let's move to left. Left is exactly opposite to right. So left will give you the character specified from the left of the string. Above view, we got the right of the string. Now we'll get it from the left of the string. So if I want two characters from uh, from Google, which is the word above in D1. So I'll say Google, I have selected D1 and I'll say comma two. Yeah. Previously, when we did it from the right, sorry, when we did it from the right, two characters, it gave me LE, which was on the right hand side of the string. Now, when I say left, it is giving me two characters from the left of the string. That is G-O-Go. Yeah. 
same way same for the date if i want if i want to get the day of the day from the date yeah so i'll say let two comma two and it will give me the date sounds good so this is how you use in a permutation combination you can left right to get the desired output that you want yes again if you put in zero uh, in spite of two you will get nothing you will get an empty string now you will ask me one more thing now you have got data from left you have got data from uh, left you have got data from right but how would i get something which is in middle of the string yes so for that you have the formula called mid so i'll say is equal to mid i have to specify which string i have to get the characters from so i'll say again google i'll say comma from where i require it so suppose i require it from the character third character and how many characters do i want so two yeah so these are the three things that are required to put in mid so it will give me from google it will give me og as the output yeah because let's see the formula again mid it is asking me which string so i have taken google it is asking me third character where do i start from third character so g o o so it is starting from o and how many characters from o two so o and g so it will select automatically select o and g as the output yeah third characters from third character it is taking two characters now here is again for the date part if i have to get the date i will select mid i'll get the month so sorry from the date if i have to get the month i know the month is in between and it is starting from fourth character and it has two characters yeah so i have to comma let's see it has four characters like right? one two three and the month is starting from fourth character and it has two characters which i need to pull so i'll say is equal to mid I'll select the date. I'll say comma four comma two, and here it is that you got the month from a date. So this is a practical scenario that I have shown. Uh, shown towards how you use it in a particular formula or in a practical scenario that you have to use. Yeah. So this. are some of the important functions that you may come across yeah when you are cleaning a data or a cleaning a text specifically or a date okay so once again to repeat trim will remove all the unnecessary spaces or the trailing spaces or if there are any uh, repeated spaces in the middle of the string right will fetch you or data from the right of a string uh, as per the specified number of characters that you have asked same for left left gives you specified numbers of character from the beginning of the string yeah and mid can get you characters from any of the segment that you specified as per the as per the length that you have selected yes usually uh, in mid i use len to calculate the length of the string that will be returned rather than simply specifying a large number of extract date length yeah to return the contents of a string beginning with a particular character or a substring you search which we have used earlier to locate the index of a desired point so these are some of the important notes that you need to look in when you are working on mid left right or trim you can use it in combination with find search replace yeah len which i have shown you how to do it yeah so i hope you 
understood how you can use it in various ways as well as you can uh, practice it in your current data which will be more helpful to make make them understand in a better way thank you